beautiful people my name is Michelle welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for stopping back again and if you're new to my channel hey girl welcome in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face but instead of using a liquid foundation I'm going to be using a powder foundation so if you want to see how I achieve this look and all of the other products that I use stay tuned but before you leave please remember to give the video a thumbs up share with a friend, share with some friends, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upload and I'll see you at the end of the video. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to do a quick, quick face. I'm going to be just doing um, a powder foundation today instead of the cream found or liquid foundation so first thing we're going to do we're going to color correct any discoloration that we have so I have one little spot here and I'm gonna put it around my mouth right and I'll put a little bit under my eye just to brighten that up alrighty to blend that out. I think I did my makeup like this once. Okay. You can use your finger for this part or Okay. Now, let's um, put the concealer on. First time I tried to do this, it, I didn't like how it turned out. Right? Well, we're going to try again. Or I did something similar. Right? A little bit. All right, that's all I'm going to do with the concealer. We'll put a little bit here and a little bit here. Let that sit for a little bit. While I'm waiting for that, let me just do a little bit of cream contour, but just right there. I'm just trying a different way to do my makeup, you know? We'll do our normal contour areas, except for the nose. We're going to leave the nose alone. We're going to put powder on the nose. Oh, the cream contour. Alrighty. And I don't have a lot of time, so we're getting ready for work. So we're just going to, you know, try to do this really, really quickly. We have a little bit of discoloration right here. Let's just the finger and just pat it in. All right, blend out the concealer. Let's hope this comes up great. I'm gonna put it all the way around my mouth. All right, let's blend out the nose. All righty, and now the under eye. I'm also going to take take it over my lid. One more day before the weekend, guys. Thankful Thursday. Alrighty. Um, this is just so you know. For those that do not like to wear foundation or they want something light, this would work for you. The 
and see how it turns out. I think it's gonna be fine. All right, all right. I'm gonna use my brush. We're gonna just buff out the edges still, all right? everything is blended out properly all right so we're gonna set under the eyes like we normally do this is the Sephora translucent powder all right let's make sure we have no creasing and in the, you know, by doing this, you're not like layering the foundation and the concealer over it. So, you know, your face should be very light. All right. I don't know, for some reason, this um, concealer, I've been noticing, it kind of looks like it has a little sh I don't even know how to describe it almost like like it has some glitter not glitter but i really can't describe it like silky looking like it's i don't know i feel like the formula is a little different but maybe it's just me like when i look in the mirror closely kind of look like there's something going on there Okay, set the eyelids. So now I'm gonna just put a little powder under here. Just for a little bit. On the side of my nose. Make sure that the lids are dry. I'm gonna grab this Juvia's Place, the Masquerade palette. And I'm just gonna take this brown color here. And we're gonna sweep that over our lids. Sweep this over the lids really quickly. This is a uh, on the go, but I want to look like I did a little something, something, you know. You know, no perfect order. Just, you know, brushing the powder and blend out the edges. When I tell you guys I'm in a hurry, I'm in a hurry. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with another lighter color and just, you know, make sure the edges are clean right here. Always blend out the edges of the cut of the um, eyeshadow. 
you want a seamless transition you don't want someone to say well that color stop here and that color stop there no they have to flow into each other okay flow Alrighty. That should be good. Let's look. Let's have a look really quickly. Okay. And notice how I'm taking it here in the front to kind of tie into whatever nose contour look I decide to do. Now I'm going to be using the matte powder foundation this is from sephora 46y let's put a little here see how it looks how's that looking okay i think the coverage is okay Not at all. Alright. I'm basically going over even the contour part since it doesn't stand out as much. take it over take it underneath my eye lord all right just tie everything together I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to do another layer of powder you know see while the face is slightly damped all right we're going to get the powder again and this will give you a little bit more coverage, right? Makes sense, right? The surface is kind of dampish. Dampish. I like this. I should do this more often. All right, I'm still going to go back under my eye. A little bit. Normally, I don't use the same brush to brush off under my eye when I'm doing my regular routine. But for this routine, because, you know, I didn't have any foundation underneath the concealer, then I just do that. And I'm going to go back with my sponge. If you want to brighten up the eye a little bit now, go back with my sponge and put a little bit of powder down to brighten that back up right okay that's fine and remember everything looks brighter on the camera lights and stuff okay so much easier than putting on the liquid foundation we're gonna do a little powder contour now and this is just me my way of doing it guys I'm using the Juvia's place look guys I'm touching the pan that means I've been using this a lot okay 
you know the normal in the mornings I have to go make breakfast because I went to the gym yesterday because I'm trying to work out more I'm trying to go to the gym more because I've been slacking off lately but even when I don't go to the gym I still do you know I find some YouTube exercise and do at home but I need to work on you know get some muscles more muscles right all right so that's good right there we're gonna contour the nose like we normally do all right so I went to the gym so that was saying I went to the gym and then when I got back, I had a salad. So you know once you eat a salad, whew, I don't know about you, but when I wake up, I'm starving. I'm really hungry. I went to the gym yesterday. I got back like around 8. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of me coming home to cook this evening, I took out some chicken, a whole chicken. So I decided around it. 8 o'clock, 8.30, let me chop up the chicken, season it, and I cooked it. I made some curry chicken. So I didn't want to eat that last night because I know that's for today. And it's a whole chicken. We had enough, but I wanted to eat a salad. Because, you know, we're trying to tighten up with the weight. I want to drop. 15 or 20 pounds that's my goal no more than that okay guys so Moses contour I like how my face is looking right, I'm gonna get my blush I'm still doing mostly everything else except you know I'm gonna use a Juvia's Place palette these are the colors and I'm taking these two colors and just you know Hope you guys could see it like a pinky orangey color i'm just mixing them together so let me know what you guys think of this technique <laughs> technique all right you know when you're trying to rush like you're like tumbling over everything i'm gonna put on my liner Black, a black liner. Okay, I think I did pretty good. It says 20 minutes on my camera. Okay, it's not bad. So we're gonna take the Dubious Place palette, the same, <laughs> this one. I'm gonna get a little skinny brush and I'm just going to, you know, put a little bit under my eye to buff out that black. I don't want it to be too dark under here. We're gonna use a lighter color. I'm going to use that same brown that we were using from this one. Okay, just to soften that color up. Alright, let's just go in with the sponge now and just like pushing this concealer or the setting powder I know I'm gonna find a brush like this one and we're gonna dust it off right I'm gonna use this brush and just like go over everything make sure we don't have a line of demarcation alrighty I'm gonna just put on a little bit of um, highlight you know 
my highlight girl I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corner and by the way this one is um wet and wild highlighter palette wet and wild highlight mega glow highlight powder And put a little bit over here. I'm trying to see the time. A little bit down. Make sure it's straight. It's straight, guys. We don't want a crooked nose. I think I should do my face like this more often. I like it, I like it. All right, you wanna blend it out with your finger. And now I'm gonna spray my face one more time. Okay, that's, that's looking good. I'm just taking my brush. I sponge just to go over everything underneath the eyes are looking good okay girl you did that Michelle really really quickly let me line my lip with the um, Juvia's Place Pencil in molasses. And that's a Juvia's place. Sephora. No, I'm going to put on a lash, just you know. Just to glam up the look a little bit, but you don't need it. I think my mind was just thinking ahead. Now I'm going to use Juvia's Place um, in Vogue. Nice nudie color. Love this lip combo. And you know I'm gonna go back over my lip with the pencil. This is how I clean up my liner. And I'm gonna use my Fenty Heat Lip Gloss. Put on top, oops. How we looking how we looking so the only thing that I would need to do now is I'm going to put on some mascara put on the lashes and then I'm gonna come back and close off the video but this is how the face is looking what do you think I like it I like it all done and ready for work um, this is the face I love these lashes guys these Sephora um, lashes and charming I love them so much that I threw about four of them in my cart before the sale ends so powder foundation I'm really really loving how my face is looking so there you go I hope you try this look and you know and tell me how you like it and just like that we have come to the end of the video I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I hope that it was a very easy for you to follow all right I'll be sure to leave the links of everything that I use down in the comment section or in the description section again guys if you like the video and love my content before you leave please 
Give the video a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell. That way you'll never miss a post. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.